Welcome back everyone to Learning with Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve this problem 12.157, okay? It says, a particle moves along a path defined by polar coordinates R, which equal to 2ET uh, in feet and theta equals to 8T squared in radians, where T is in seconds. Determine the components of its velocity and acceleration when T is equal to 1 second. Alright, so in this problem now we're jumping into a new chapter um, of the book and as the problem statement says we are defining our particles or our objects by polar coordinates okay so for this chapter i created this little note in here because our velocity and our acceleration equations are a little bit not complicated not more complicated but they have a little bit more uh, let's say like components so we have that our velocity has two components which is the velocity in, in the radial component and in the angular component and same thing with the acceleration okay so I'm going to leave this note in here just so it could help us and we're going to start the problem by first noting that well over here we have that the velocity should be either the derivative of the radial component or the theta component. So we're going to do the first and the second derivative of the our radius and our angle, okay? So let's start by doing that. We're going to have that r is equal to 2e raised to the t. And if we do the first derivative of this radial component, it's going to be the same, which is 2e to the t. The second derivative of this r is going to be 2e to the t as well, okay? So not so com so much of a complication in this for this problem. And then we have also theta, which is equal to 8t squared. And its first derivative is going to be equal to 16t. And the second derivative will be equal to just a constant of 16, okay? So now that we have the first and the second derivative of these two equations, what we can do is we're going to look at our equation sheet on our right in here and let's just start finding our velocity and acceleration components. So let's start with the velocity in the radial component and as we can see on the right in here, it's equal to the derivative of r. So the first derivative which is equal to 2e to the t as we can see in our above in here we already made it okay now the question is asking for this component when time is equal to one second so what we're going to do is that we're going to say okay we are going to find this velocity when time is equal to one second and this should be equal to just 2e okay and if we plug this into our calculator 2e should be equal to 5.44 and then the units are feet per second okay I round out this number next we can do the velocity in the angular component and we can realize that is r times so in here no right is going to be r I'm going to zoom in a little bit so it's clear we have that is r multiplied by the first derivative of theta. So we have r, which is in here, which is 2e t, and we're going to multiply it by the first derivative of theta, which is 16t. Okay? Now we're going to plug in when time is equal to 1, and we're going to have 32e, and if we plug this into our calculator so we got 32 e it's equal to 86 well if we round it up it's going to be 87.0 feet per second okay and we're done with our first uh, answer for our velocity components next we're going to go and do the same thing for our acceleration component so our acceleration in the radius component is going to be 
The second derivative of r, well, it's going to be 2et minus r, which is 2et in here, multiplied by the first derivative of theta squared, which is 16t, and we're going to square it, okay? So now what we can say is like, okay, if we plug in, one as my term, we will have 2e minus, we'll have 2e multiplied by 16x squared, okay? And if we solve for this, we will realize, well, in here we got 2e, and in here, this 2e, 16 squared, let's see how much is that, so we got 2 times 16 squared, it's a total of 512 so this in here is equal to 512e and if we have 2e minus this 512 we'll get negative 510e okay so we will put this into our calculator we got 510e so we put this into our calculator we get that this is equal to negative 1386 if we round and this is in feet per second square because it's our acceleration okay it's our acceleration component and then last we have our acceleration in our angular component is going to be equal to r well r is equal to 2e so we got 2e t multiplied by the second derivative of theta which is equal to 16 and then we're going to add two times the first derivative of both, which is 2et and then also 16t, okay? Now, if we plug in when our time is equal to 1, what will we have? Well, we'll have in the first part, we'll have 32e plus, and then we will have 4e times 16 okay how much is time uh, 4 times 16 is this equal to 64 so we can basically erase this and get 64 e okay and if we add them up 64 plus 32 that should give me 96 e and let's see how much this is into a calculator in decimal point this is equal to 261 feet per second square when we round it up okay so that was it for this video guys please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next